everybody this is Rebecca with Rebecca's Roadmap.com and I was going to shoot a plan with me and kind of lay some things out and then I started working on my planner so instead I thought I would tell you guys how I'm implementing one of the strategies in Atomic Habits. Now that is the book that I read in March and I kind of have a little review video that I'll link down below if you guys are interested in hearing what I had to say about that. It's kind of just a little bit of an overview and some of my thoughts. But one of the things that James Clear says in Atomic Habits is to think about what you want to do. And another thing he says is that to introduce new habits you can tie them to existing habits, which is habit stacking. So this really prompted me to make some notes when I was reading, which is actually some of the only notes that I made <laughs> on the book that I guess the, the thing that I got um, the most out of in the book is to think about what do I want to do. So one of the things I've been struggling with is my exercise. So I said, yoga and exercise. And then what else do I want to do? Well, I'm going to do morning pages. And then what else? I want to practice my art. And then what else? I want to go to bed at 1030. These are all habits that I really struggled with in February and quite frankly, still working on them in March. But at least I'm working on them, right? So, I'm not sure what that is. I was just, oh, I, I kind of named my routines. I guess I'll tell you those in a minute. Um, so, yoga exercise. So, what must I do first? And I decided that before I left the house on the days I was going to, like, do yoga, that I would set my workout clothes on the bed because I don't like stuff on the bed <laughs> and I pretty much come home and like put all my stuff up. That's one of the first things I do. So I was thinking if I left my exercise clothes on the bed, that would prompt me to like, after I put my purse and my bag and my coat up to see the exercise clothes and prompt me to put them on, which makes it much more likely that I would actually exercise because I'd have my exercise clothes on. See my thinking? So, I was kind of tying things in from that. So set my clothes out in the morning, change into clothes, which um, I have after my get home routine, which is putting all my stuff up. Um, and another thing I wanted to do is sweep the living room floor, which is where I exercise and stuff. And then lay out mat, turn on my video for my yoga, and then work out, pick up mat, reset room, so everything's picked up. So that's kind of what I was thinking the steps need to be, every every little step. So I, I just kind of wrote those out so I, I would know what I needed to do. Um, and for the morning pages, I was thinking that I need to tie this into my go to bed routine because it would be the first thing I do when I wake up. So it would be the start of my morning routine. So I was thinking I need to tie it into my go to bed routine. So I usually take a shower, um, you know, brush my teeth, take a shower, that kind of thing. And then I get ready for bed. So I was thinking, make sure that my nightstand is cleaned off and set up for my morning pages. So make sure my journal's set up and then when I wake up in the morning, the only thing I have to do is wake up and write. So I was thinking, what's the first thing I need to do? Just write one sentence. So if I could kind of set a goal or a habit to um, wake up, pick up my morning pages notebook and just write one sentence, then you know, often when you start, that's the hardest part, it will lead to other things. So I was thinking about tying that into my go to bed routine. 
Let's see. And what else do I want to do? I want to practice art. I've got like some um, like Jane Davenport classes and some other classes that I've purchased that I've started, but I haven't finished them. And I've also got some books and things, things that I want to do to practice art. So I was thinking, which I'm not sure if this is the right time, but I'll just kind of tell you my thoughts um, to, you know, I, after I eat dinner, so I'm like exercising before this, right? And then I'll either cook dinner or my husband will cook dinner. So after dinner, to put on my dinner plate and kind of straighten the kitchen. So these are just like my steps in straightening the kitchen. Take my art cart over to this table, which is where I kind of spread stuff out. Um, and get out what I'm, whatever I'm currently working on and then start something just work for a few minutes and then if I want to work work some more but kind of get in the habit of starting that after dinner now the only way I can see that this might change up is this may flip-flop with my exercise habit because I also started dance lessons with my husband which is awesome and I don't have to put on like yoga clothes to do dancing. I just dance whatever I've, I've got on. Um, but that would probably be after dinner. So on the nights where my husband's home, we'll probably be practicing dancing and that will be my exercise because we usually end up practicing for 30 minutes or an hour or so. And then the nights when my husband is working late or bowling or doing something else or on the weekends, then those would be my yoga days and I would have my clothes set up and do that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with that. And the last thing, last habit I want to work on um, is to go to bed at 1030. So I'm thinking that this is going to start after art or after dancing, kind of depending on which night it is. So, eat my dinner, clean up the kitchen, and then start um, either dancing or my art routine. When that's done, brush my teeth and shower. Um, let's see. And then the, the, my like bathroom routine and then get in bed and read. And I also want to put in, I was thinking along with saying at my morning pages to look at my tending list for my power sheets, because that's like getting, that's over on my desk and I'm not looking on that at that every day. I actually am just looking at it like on the weekends and I think, well, gee, I didn't work on that. So I need kind of a, a review in that. So I'm thinking of these things instead of like watching TV or something that I can do to make sure I go to bed at 10.30. Like maybe set an alarm on my phone or something for a certain time. Still kind of working that one out. So I kind of named these routines, which is what this was that I was looking at at the beginning, which is the get home routine, after dinner routine, before bed routine, um, wake up morning routine. And this was just a note to put the tinning list on, on the daily habits to look at that which that will be for next month. So what do I want to do was the best thing that <laughs> I thought of with the Atomic Habits. And so I'm kind of working on tying the new habits that I want to do to things that I already do consistently. So this is, this is the habits that I'm trying to stack into um, what I currently do. So what I did was um, I noted them on my, this is my everyday carry. So I noted the things that I wanted to do here, um, you know, practice art. And I don't think I have, maybe I need to add a couple of things to this. And then this is the planner that I usually look at when I'm at home. This one lives on my desk. So I did put in practice art, practice dancing. Um, we actually have class on Tuesdays at 7.30. So in, I can practice art a little bit before that. 
eat dinner, go to dance class, and then we'll get home till 9.30 or something. So that that's usually about all I have time there. Um, and then Wednesdays is our uh, home night for me and my husband, and we usually um, make pizza and watch something, but I can fit a little practice art in there. Thursday is usually the night that I have at home, so I think I can, might do a short yoga routine there. And then Friday, I can practice art. Saturday, I can probably add some more yoga and maybe on Sunday. So I'm trying to make sure I have those things that I want to do written here also. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, and another thing that I was thinking of is Deidre told me that you can get a free creative live video every day, which I didn't know. Did you guys know that? I didn't either. Maybe you do, but I did. So I made I made a note on here um, to watch a creative live video daily. So this is how I'm trying to work in some new habits into my existing routines, tie them to existing habits that I do consistently. So I just want to kind of give you a peek at that and kind of what that's looking like in my planners. And I just got these new stickers this morning. Aren't those cute? So this is my, my uh, plan for next week. So this is a Dog's Life sticker book. I got this at Michael's, you know, their little dollar kid sticker books that I love so much if you watch my videos. So I just wanted to show you they're kind of little cartoon dogs. At any rate, I'm going to get off of here and go do some more work. So if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because why not? And as always, I thank you for watching my video and I will see you next time. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.